Daniel joins us from New York. Uh, hi, Daniel. Hello. You're on the air. Hello, Jean. Um, I'm calling basically because I saw this question on Facebook of if you're an immigrant. And I myself, I am a 18-year-old Latino immigrant here legally in New York City. And I came here at the age of nine months, pretty young. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I've always stayed in contact with my culture, and I actually went back at the age of nine um, to live in my country from the Dominican Republic for five years. And I came back as a teenager, 14-year-old. And now, as I said, I'm a, Lat- I'm a Latino immigrant, but I'm currently becoming a citizen. Uh-huh. So I'm in that exciting process, you know, a process in which you learn a lot about yourself and, you know, how much you have gained of American culture. But one of the issues for me of being an immigrant in society today is that, you know, you're never really from the place you came from, but Mm. you never um, really become a part of American society. That for me is very difficult because it's the idea of transcultural identity, you know. How do you become accepted um, not only by American society but by your own culture which tells you, oh, that's wrong if you don't do this, if you don't eat this, if you don't dance like this way. You're not Latino, but then, you know, it's this idea of how do I fit in? Mm, mm. That's extremely difficult for me, and that's something I'm coping with right now. But, you know, that's my kind of um, point of view on what being an immigrant is, you know, here in America. Well, let's see if Carlos Ayer has any advice for you. Carlos? Well, at at that age, yes, that's immensely important. And and uh, it can be something of a problem to figure out where you fit when, in fact, uh, there are some instances, actually many, in daily life where the, the two cultures that you inhabit are in conflict with one another. So yeah, you don't, you're not supposed to dance that way. Uh, for, for me, I decided when I was your age, when I was about 18, I decided that I didn't care what the Cuban community told me. I was in the United States and I was going to be American. And yes, I'm a terrible dancer. I'm terrible at baseball. <laughs> I can't sing. Is that baseball, I, I, isn't it? <laughs> a, a baseball. I'm terrible at baseball. Uh, and uh, I couldn't have cared less. And then actually there was an interview done uh, of, of my earlier memoir in Bomb magazine hmm. where the interviewer actually began by saying that I was the least Cuban Cuban she had ever met. I took that as a compliment, <laughs> but that's a choice I made. But at that age, oh, man, it tears you up. Mm-hmm. It really does, especially uh, when, when your own age group is, is in, in involved in this decision-making from one side or the other. Mm-hmm. So but, I don't know if that mm-hmm. rings true to you. Daniel, uh, one, one dimension of, of your uh, situation, um, I would think that you experience quite a bit of creative tension in being neither this nor that. Uh, you you may be a memoir writer in the making. Well, probably, um, you know, actually right now I'm a college student and I've been um, exposed now to a lot of Latino and Latin American literature. So, um, you know, literature from Julia de Burgos, Sandra Cisneros, um, a lot of this literature I've been identifying with and you know, I've kind of been seeing that it's not only me, you know, my story is out there. And, you know, I, I definitely um, identify with them because it's, you know, this idea of, oh, if you don't dance this way, if you don't eat this, if you don't wear this clothes, you know, you're not Latino. Well, how does a Latino look? What, are, what is a Latino supposed to do? What is he supposed to dance? You know, that's a difficult question for me because we all come in different shapes, colors, and sizes, you know. Mm-hmm. That's pretty difficult. But, you know, it's it's a process that I feel that we have to go and definitely, as your guest said, as young people, you know, as a teenager, it's even more difficult because it's just that age of, you know, finding out who you are. And on top of that, you know, the layer of being an immigrant, Mm. it's a whole new experience. And there's so much pressure to conform at your age. Thank you so much for calling us, Daniel. It's great to hear from you. We're talking this hour with Carlos Ayer.